The role of melt strength of polymers can be found in any plastics-related textbooks or Google, for that matter. Common amongst the literature sources is that increased molten melt strength of the polymer delivers higher extensional viscosity, which translates to achieving better control in wider processing windows during manufacturing. Processes that benefit from molten uh, melt strength are the thermal forming, blow molding, and extrusion profiles. Each of these uh, manufacturing processes requires polymer systems to have sufficient stability so that the part does not rupture, tear, rip, or collapse during stretching or lose shape during profile extrusion. Another benefit that the Talus technology delivers is in the area of improved shear thinning, which is particularly important to the profile extruder who wants to run as fast as possible without surface melt fracture and, more importantly, collapse of the profile due to poor melt strength. All of these features, including the upper surface temperature that's derived, are uh, improving the end user's processability. The improved processability equates to higher efficiencies, which directly correlates to higher profits. These pictures more adequately show why melt strength is important to the thermal former blow molder and profile extruder. In thermal forming, as you can see on this left-hand diagram, the sheet that has no melt strength will rip away from the clamp edge or rip during movement of the tool into the pliant sheet. Sheeting that has sufficient melt strength, however, can be drawn into the tool without any signs of ripping, tearing, or minimal thinning in the sharp uh, radii. In blow molding, if the paracin has no melt strength, the pliant extrudate will rip and tear away from the die or burr 